Hi, Wilson awesome members. I am Lacey Tucker Kirkwood, and I'm your 2013-2014 Minnesota State Historian. So I'm here today to talk to you about medical math. Medical math is um, here to encourage health science students to practice and to put into use the mathematical skills that they're going to use in the healthcare profession. So the dress code for this event is either official host uniform or proper business attire. You can find out what both those things are at posa.org, or you can ask your local advisor as well. Um, and then what this event is going to break down into is it's going to be a 50-question multiple-choice test. And this test is going to have um, 10 tiebreaker questions um, tied into it. And these tiebreaker questions will be harder than the rest, and they will be the ones that in case of a tie, they will go back to these tiebreaker questions to see who would get what place. Um, basically what this event is going to break down into is your multiple-choice test. There's a percentage of each um, skill that you need to know that will be represented. So for instance, 5% will be mathematical essentials, 20% will be measurements and conversion problems, 35% will be drug doses and intravenous solutions, 25% will be dilution solutions and concentrations, and then the last 15% will be interpreting medical information. So those, that is how your test is going to break down altogether. Then um, all competitors at the event will receive a scantron to write down your or to fill in your answers, a test co a copy of the test, and two pieces of paper to um, write scratch on basically. So what you do need to provide is you need to bring your own number two pencils, bring one or two or even more than that in case one of them breaks or if someone needs to borrow one. So make sure you bring that because those will not be provided for you. Um, in your event guidelines, you will find a conversion or more than one conversion chart. Those charts are what's going to be used on the test. Those are the ones that you have to go by when you're answering your questions. So make sure you look over those and they're the conversions that you are familiar with. But you cannot use these charts on the test. They're just to reference before, while you're studying to make sure you understand these conversions. So you do have to have these memorized by the test. Um, so basically that is it. That is the rundown of the test. To get more detailed information, go on to hosa.org and to resources and then competitive events, and you'll find your guidelines on there. Make sure the day of the test, you bring your number two pencils, you arrive on time or even early to make sure that you're, you're being prompt. And make sure you also bring your event guidelines because you will need those at state and nationals for sure because um, they will check for those. You might not even get in the door if you don't have them. So make sure you remember those. I wish you all the best of luck in this event. Thanks.